Hello and welcome to our video. My name is Simon and today we are going to discuss driving testing through controls and key performance indicators. Testing when underway is usually a very target driven exercise. Sometimes this target is a period of time. Sometimes it's a number of tests run. Perhaps a certain percentage rate of past tests. Or even a number of defects found, number of defects fixed, or number of defects left. If we are to continue to focus testing on targets, it is important we understand what these targets are and that they are both suitable for the nature of the testing being undertaken as well as the appetite of the project towards risk. There is nothing right about targeting a 100% pass rate on all tests when business are perfectly happy to live with cosmetic defects in the system or even work aroundable issues. Key performance indicators driven down from high level objectives should be embedded within an organisation's reporting structure so that it is possible to measure these KPIs based upon input from a variety of different work streams and projects. The Experimentus Intelligent Test Method, or ITM tool, includes a Metrics and KPIs tool, which you can now see on screen. Within this tool, there are a number of detailed key performance indicators. These KPIs cover product quality, resources and processes and they are fed directly from project level test reporting. Let's take a couple of these KPIs specifically and look at how we can drive testing through monitoring them. First of all, let's look at test milestone achievement against plan. This is a simple KPI that measures the number of planned test milestones that were actually achieved. This will quickly tell you whether test planning is being performed accurately and over time will demonstrate types of project where this is not the case. Further analysis will uncover the reasons for this, which are quite likely to be events beyond tests' immediate control. It will highlight on an in-flight project where milestones are not being achieved and where corrective action and replanning is required. We can also use Defect Detection Percentage, or DDP, as a good example of a metric measuring the detection of defects in various test stages. This data over time will allow for a predicted DDP to be measured against, showing an in-flight project whether they are on track or not in terms of expected defects uncovered. Finally, have a think about how your organisation is targeting and measuring testing at the moment. Are a suitable and complete set of key performance indicators actually in place? And are the metrics to feed into these consistently recorded and reported? Is testing focused on the right goals, aligned with project and organisational risk? Do you have the ability to measure on an automated basis, up from project level? Thank you for your time today. We hope you've enjoyed our quick video. If you want to know more about KPIs within the ITM tool, or if you'd like any further information on this subject, please get in touch. Goodbye.